Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft MC Eternal Let's Play series where in this episode we're going to be pumping what is directly above my head. That's right, oil. But before we do that and get to what we need to do that, there's something literally right in front of me that I want to show you. A hey, yep. I have started the construction of our new base here at the amazing biome that we found and I have not done too much. I have done a little bit. Um, off camera here as you can see I've installed the windows again not quite done here need to figure out what to do there if I just need to punch a hole or what um, I moved the waystone down in here I decorated a little bit with the ceiling as well as you can see moved some furs furnaces over here um, and a chest with coal and that is pretty much it now what I have also done if we head back to our starter base and head on over here I started a mine all the way down to bedrock and I mined for quite a bit over here. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go down there because it will just take too long for me to get all the way down there. But trust me, mined all the way down to bedrock and mined quite a bit. And you can see the stuff that I got over yeet, here. As you can see, got quite a bit of ores here and we even got some diamonds. So now we have 18 diamonds. But yeah, let's get started in pumping oil. Well, for that, we need the stuff up here. I'm essentially going to be using Buildcraft to pump the oil, which is, the oil is for Buildcraft. Um, so I'm going to be using Buildcraft stuff to pump the oil. I actually don't need that because I've decided to use um, Buildcraft pipes as well. So this is some of the stuff that we will be needing. Um, and yes, quartz fluid pipes, they do require quartz, but we do in fact have some quartz right here for mining spawn in the overworld, so that's cool. Um, but this ender tank is a little bit of an issue because of the blaze rods. Not the obsidian, I do have some obsidian. Um, ender pearls, we have an ender, enderman spawner down in our house here, so those are easy to get. Uh, but the blaze rods could be a little bit tricky. I haven't actually looked in the shop to see if they are on sale. Nope, they're not on sale. Or not on sale, but uh, available for purchase. So that means that we must go to the nether. So we are also going to the nether today, and where did I place my obsidian? Where did I put my obsidian? I had... I had like 23. Alright, well I've looked through all my chests, and um... I don't have... The 10 obsidian... I had 10 obsidian on me. Before this recording. I thought in a way, well... Earlier I had 23, but I guess not. At least, no. I have no idea where they have been. Uh, I wonder, can we buy obsidian? Obsidian, nope, only obsidian TNT, which I'm not interested in at this point in time. Oh well, we'll just have to go down underground and get some more, because we will be needing some for the edit tag, two per tank, and I only have three left. Um... And so, yeah, we also need some ender pearls, so how might I actually do that? Oh, actually, um, we're also going to be using wireless redstone, and for that I need obsidian as well, as you can see. Well, I then suppose that I can show you my path down to bedrock here. As you can see, there's a bedrock, and I mined quite a bit in this direction, and it's super creepy because I literally cannot see more than, like, what what is that, eight blocks? Yeah, about eight blocks away from me, and I don't know about you, but that's creepy. Pretty creepy. Um, so I just need to find where I found lava last time. Right here. And then what I just gotta do is vein mine this thing. And. Ah! 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 Oh, gee. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That, di that, that did not go according to plan whatsoever. <laughs> Let me try that again, shall we? So vein mine this thing. And I get it. Cool. I just block that off. Yeah, let me get the obsidian, and hopefully I don't die in the process. <laughs> I'll be back. How about we place it over here? I feel like this could be an okay spot for a portal, I suppose. In fact, I see the form of it right here. All right, open the portal. <laughs> and I think we should be good to go. Oh, my helmet is about to break. Oh, well. Yate. We're going through. Let's hope we don't die. Oh dear, there's a gas right there. Don't you... 
Don't you dare. No. Nope. That's it. Okay. Ah! Okay, it's stop lagging. Stop lagging. <sighs> okay, uh that was That was just a bit terrifying. The nether is big. Hey, at least we have redstone right here. <laughs> okay, I'm happy now that I have the flint and steel with me. Let's just reactivate ju that. There we go. What is this? Nether iron ore. Okay. Well, I see a lot of stuff, and it, this place is cool. All right, this place is cool. Um, I wonder how we're gonna get blaze rods. So, uh, I guess I need to find. Well, first off, this place is not really the best starting place. Now, is it? Need to get down from here if I can. Uh, no. Uh, how about I bridge over to no? No. Okay, you know what? What if I just make a quick wall over here? No. 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 I just want to get over to the other side. And uh, hopefully we can find a fortress to get places. Unless we can get them from some of this weird, these weird monsters here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, fire and everything. Okay, I thought that was diamond for a second. <laughs> I mean, that would have been cool. Okay, another gold deposit. Huh, that's just gold nuggets. Tiberium. I could get it. I, I've got a stick on... That looks kind of like a blaze. Some sort of blaze. I mean, does my sword have looting? No, unfortunately. It did not drop a blaze rod, did it? It dropped blaze powder. I wonder, can I turn that into like a blaze rod <laughs> somehow? <laughs> can I potentially? Blaze rod, how can we make them? Is there any way? Well, if we had a compact, so we could. Um, we'll just trade. That's cool. Blaze essence. So we need machines for all of this stuff. So it looks like I can only get them by a normal vanilla blaze. I'm gonna go on the hunt for another fortress, so I'll be right back when something when something interesting happens. Or when I find a fortress. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. This place is did did one of these things just make it Ah! What creeper is that? Okay. Yeah, that's a TNT. Nope. Buddy, could you please avoid doing that? Ow! Wait, who's doing that? Who's shooting? Who's shooting fire like a blaze? Who is shooting fire like a blaze? Is that you? Are you shooting fire like a blaze? Ow! Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. Well, I'm back in next to my bed and I have an enchanted key, so that's good. I can teleport over to my grave. So that's wonderful. All right, we're back. These things deal a lot of damage, don't they? Get. Ow, 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 ow don't kill me, the What did? All right, so before I take my grave, I'm a ghost, so I shouldn't get attacked by anything. Salamander, I mean, it looks like you have a giant cannon on you. Uh, yeah, I think that might be it. Oh wait, I got a book. I really want it, to be honest with you. I think what I've got to do is I've got to just pick up my grave and just run. Yeah, run for it. Whoa, there's a drop. Well, there's a closed obsidian portal there. Uh, there's another one of those creepies over there. Okay, well, that was, um... That was eventful. It looks like finding a fortress might be... An interest. Oh wait, there's a fortress over there. Okay, cool. So, oh, wait, what? What's dra What was dragging me in? Something is dragging me in. What is dragging me in? You, die, die right now. I don't like you. I think you're dragging me in. Yep, he's dragging me in. I should the destroyer. Could you stop it? Could you please stop it? Stop it. Stop. 
I don't want to get so close. I'm burning through my arrows here. All right, fine. All right, gonna grab this and just run for it. Just gonna run for it and get to the fortress, get what I need, and get out. Ah, finally, a vanilla mob. Ow! Can't say I missed you. Well, I did, cause I need, I need your blaze rod, sir. But you're almost just as annoying. Okay, how many of these do I need? Okay, I need quite a few. Oh wait, we have some quests here. Uh, what do we have? We have visit the dimension Nether, an unclaimed black market container, uh, mermaid swarm. That's from Ice and Fire, right? Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Well. Let me search for more blazes and I'll be back. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what all of this stuff is. Advanced machine frame sounds expensive. Looks like expensive. Golden battle axe and a master cutlass pierce. I'm gonna try using it. Well then, I just found some armor from Ender IO. Dark boots. I mean, I'll take them. A lot of interesting stuff. I guess I'll, I'll, I will be back here, most likely, for all the loot and stuff. But for right now, I just want to hopefully find a blaze rod or a blaze spawner if I can. Well, I just died to some wolf by a hellhound. And of course, I don't have an enchanted grave key. Yeah, that's the weird wolf thing. And there's more of those weird blazes. Found one! Phew! About time. Where is the opening to this thing? Ah, right here. Finally, now I just gotta adjust. Mind you, just. Now I just gotta kill these things. And not die. And hope that that won't spawn some weird super one that one-shots me. Also, this sword is cool. It has a venom enchant that apparently poisons them. So that's cool. I'm just blocking this off so they can't fly out. And hopefully nothing from here will come and kill me. So I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and, uh, well, farm some blazes. And I'll be, I'll be right back. Hey, buddy. Alright, I got 20 blaze rods, and now this weird wolf is after me. Oh, he's powerful. Okay. Well, I got 20 blaze rods, so that's perfect. Um, give me that. I don't know whatever that is. Ton of dog. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I got 20 blaze rods, so that's perfect. Though I realize I cannot leave the nether quite yet. I need a bit of glowstone, so I have to make the dangerous <laughs> travel back to my portal to hopefully get... Well, I don't really need to travel back to my portal. I just need to find some glowstone somewhere that I could get my hands on and uh, then I can get out of here. So let me do that. All right, glowstone it is. I'm certainly not in a very safe place, I don't think, but... Well, maybe I am. Except if a gas sees me. Speaking of which, uh, I'm probably kind of doomed. Anyways, just getting the glowstone here and we'll be able to just slash home and get the ender pearls. 56 glowstone, that hopefully should do for now. Slash home. Uh, we also have some quests we really quickly can turn in. Okay. We're out of that place. Home sweet home. All right, taking a quick look at the quest here. We got eight place rods. All right, we got some money and we got something. I don't know what that was. A loot crate, cool. Uh, so we got that, there's nothing else here, but then we got some legendary artifacts. Oh, and we got the mermaid uh, swarm. And we got some pretty good amount of money for that. Which means, are we now able to we could actually buy the other pearls. From my calculations, we need four. 
I could just go but might as well buy something. Okay, let us make the stuff that we need. Enough of the stuff. Uh, phew. Okay. Let's get crafting, shall we? Um, first off, I want to figure out if we can actually do the obsidian stick thing. Because uh, if not, we're going to have some issues. So I'm going to try and make this. So we need re uh, For that, we need some redstone and we need some the glowstone that we gathered. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. So we can click the arrow here and then you get the alternate... Um, or alternative, other the other craft thing recipe. Okay, okay, that's my fault. I, I, yep, that's my fault. All right, let's make another one of those then. So we need to make a wireless transmitter, and then we need to make a wireless receiver. This is basically to send a redstone signal. This will receive the redstone signal. And this will transmit the redstone signal. I'll explain more when we get to it. Boom, and we should be able to make the two. And the tanks. Cool. And they stack. Amazing. So that is those two. I also need some sort of dye. And I'm going to take ink sack for that. Ink sack to dye them. Um, because you can color code them, basically. You see the three, like, white ones on the top? Yeah, you can color code them, which is pretty cool. So you can have a lot of inter tanks, not resulting in them conflicting. To make the fluid pipe, we need pipe sealant. And that you can make with slime balls. I don't think I really need that many. Um, I think I need like, I think 16 pipes will be plenty. Uh, block of quartz, right. So like so, and like so. Boom. And quartz pipe, make the pipe. 16. Oh wait, where do I need? Right, I need 16. I need 14 more pipe ceiling, so that is 12 more slime balls. Like so. Now oh, I'm happy I have these. 14. That is then 16. Fluid pipe. That should be plenty. So that is done. 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 Now I need redstone engines to actually operate the pump. Should be all we need. I can only make two. Why can I only make two? Why can I only make two? There we go. There it is. Uh, so that's six. So, uh, sorry, three. So that is all we need for that. Uh, let's line everything up nicely over here. Uh, now we need the pump, but first, before we do any build craft stuff, let's remember to go into science tab. Is it in the advanced science? I think it is. Uh, right here, build craft guidebook. Uh, I want to make that because I don't know what's going to unlock. So need some paper. Done. Boom, boom, and we got a whatever that is. I don't really need. Uh, this, but it's cool. I'm not going to use Billcraft tank. Well, I'm not going to say what I'm going to use for tank wise just yet, or to storage the flu, the the um the fuel just yet. Today we just want to pump it and then store it in the ender tank, and then in the next episode we will actually worry about that. Uh, so the pump itself is an iron gear, and we need a bucket, and then we need we actually need two of these. Okay, so that's cool. I do need them. <laughs> So I do need uh, two. I need two, right? Yes, I need two of these. Didn't realize you actually needed those two. Uh, and then, boom, we have the pump. Sweet. So I just need one more ink sack. Squiddy squid. Squid squid. Squiddy squid. Let me find a squid real quick. When you don't need the squids, they're there. When you need them, they're all of a sudden poof gone. Wait, oh, that's a fish, or no, that's not even a fish. Have you guys seen a squid? No? Hmm, aha, uh -huh. I just slept, and here they are, right here. Did you not give me your, thank you. Let's head on over to the new base, and let me show you where I plan on leading over the oil. So, first off, we will be pumping from that oil right there. We can take off the seal now. Uh, we will be pumping from that oil uh, spring right there, and then we will be taking it over here. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do things over here quite yet. Um, but for now, I'm going to store the oil right there, for example. I can always move this thing, so we're good. Um, 
yeah, I think that is going to be good. Uh, this is basically, I think, this is the plan for where I want the power plant to to be. I'll put it down here, just so we can see. So there are these like color codes over here. I'm basically just going to put one as black. There we go. And if we put another one down and put that as black, those two will sync. Um, if I place another one down that is like blue in that centerpiece, it, they will not connect. So that is cool. Um, not sure what that does. I think it. Yeah, this just signalizes the input and output. I'm pretty sure. So this is where the oil will get to. Before we go over, I'm going to put this right here, like so. This is the transmitter, and I want to put this. Can I type normal stuff? No, I'm just gonna put this to ten, just for fun. And frequency name, I'm gonna name it oil, oil line, line. Set name. Uh, that should be good. And so if I just make a quick lever, now I can turn that on and off. So I should be able to control the oil pump from afar. So I'm going to leave it on and that should be transmitting. I don't know if there's like a range limit or something. I hope not. We need to get to the tippity tippity top top. Hey Beetle. Uh, and doing that, I think, oh dear, we have snakes. I think, yes, yep, snake. Um, doing that, I thought we would at least try and make it a little bit nice. So that's why I have chisel with me, so we can make these blocks look somewhat okay. And I'm thinking, I think for now, this, I think the way I'm going to do it is going to be to make a center pillar, and then I'm going to build around that pillar to make it look nice. Uh, I say we started right here before the oil. So we just got to go all the way up like so. It looks super ugly from afar, but I'm going to pretty this up and I don't know what that portal is. I don't know. Uh, all the way up. want to be one block above it like so. And we can go one up. How far up are we? Why 105? Eek. Don't tell me I'm off. No, I'm not. Am I? No. Okay, good. Uh, and I suppose I already now can then start to make it look a little bit pretty. I think I'm just going to go with these because they connect nicely like so. Um, probably not the prettiest in the world, but you know what? It's fine. So what I then got to do is uh, I forgot to bring, I didn't bring redstone. I forgot to bring redstone. I'll have to go back for that. Need to place the pump there and that is cool, right there. And then we want the redstone engines on its side. So, so, and so. Then I want this. We need that to go around. So we can get redstone. These are basically redstone engines. So they, all, they are powered by redstone. Um, so that's cool. I'm going to do that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It doesn't look too bad. We will then run redstone over here. And we'll have, say, the receiver the wireless receiver right here. And I'm going to take this and it's powered. That's cool. And then I'm going to have, do we have enough pipes for this? I'm going to put it there like so the oil will then be pumped up. And my plan was then to move these all the way over here. Okay, we do have enough to the center one which is then going to be the ender tank eh, placed there, color coded correctly, and then eh, like so. And as you can see, that is now connected. And so it basically, I then essentially just want to build up on the sides of this just to make it look a little bit better and maybe make this a little bit larger as well, just to make it look nicer, but I'm still Missing the redstone, so and I suppose maybe make a ladder system to get up here. We actually have the open blocks elevator mod. Um, if I can get enough wool to make some elevators so I can get up instead of ladders, that would be pretty sweet. All right, so apparently these elevators, from what I've read, can only do 20 blocks. And this is 20 blocks right here. Uh, so I hope that will work. 
Let's test, I suppose. Nope, it needs to be one lower. And then I can zip right back up. Okay, so not, not too big of a deal. It just costed me eight more wool and another ender pearl. But that's quite all right. Just to have that little cool function that... Let's see, come back. Anyways, it is the start of a new morning here. And I think it is time that we turned this thing on, shall we? So, I'll make this entrance to this place look a little bit nicer. Uh, I suppose getting a door would work. Um, but right now, this is just blocking this off to... So that the oil doesn't come out. Uh, oh dear. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. Um, that was interesting. Let's just forget that ever happened and head straight up to this. And we are now going to turn on. So I'm going to put redstone around here. That is then going to turn on the redstone engines. And... By doing this, we should turn this system on. We are free power. This should be pumping and we should get a result in a moment. Uh, I don't, it should be extending a pipe. Uh, we should be able to see a pipe go down into that oil eventually. Oil platform indeed. Okay, we don't see a pipe. Here we have our first oil right here coming through the pipes, going down into this end of tank right here that's so cool and here we have more and the for the for long the longer these things are on the faster they will actually go so that's cool i hope we will be able to see that pipe pretty soon but anyways as you can see it is actually draining the the oil right there and you can also see that these are now turning green and are going a little bit faster so this is actually working very well right here and hopefully we should be able to see a pipe come out of that pretty soon. I think it's just glitched. But if we quickly head back to base, uh, we should be able to see that the ender tank is getting filled up. And it is actually draining it. Nice. We should be able to see a pipe. Maybe I just need to relock the world or something. But now you can see here that it is indeed filling up. And you just saw it actually fill up a little bit so that is pretty cool and that is well it for today's episode and the cool thing is we can turn it on and off right there so in the next episode we will be generating power we have oil being pumped up might add some more support make this maybe a little bit more decorative as a light or something and prepare this area for power but anyways there we go that's pretty cool but anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Just want to show you that we can actually see the pipe right now, which is right. Uh, apparently, it got up, and then it goes down. Okay. I oh, don't know. It might be a little bit glitched. But as you can see, there's a pipe, and that is pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah.